we just wrapped up Jeffrey Paul's studio. It is really noisy right now because, uh, hang on, <laughs> landscapers. Guess I'll have to wait. Hang on. <laughs> we just wrapped up Jeffrey Paul's live streaming slash recording studio. This was a fun one. Uh, we installed some new things that we've never even done before, and it was really, really fun. Challenge, <laughs> but a fun one at that. Uh, this like trussing grid system. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's no legs on the ground, and we'll go into more detail about that in just a second. This is a three camera setup. Two of them are hard mounted. One's on a Veripole, and one is for his over the head, top down view. And the third one is actually on a rolling tripod to give him a little flexibility in recording his videos or his live streams. The idea is he can have one main shot coming against this wall, but he is gonna be on this wall where he can now take this tripod and swivel it over to get a secondary shot while he is over working on this smart TV slash whiteboard. Freaking cool. It's called a Samsung Flip. What it allows uh, you to do is you have a little pencil, just like an iPad, that you can draw on. So you could do demo work, kind of showing whatever is, uh, whatever you wanna uh, show. It has a little uh, highlighter so you can kind of highlight specific things on the board and when you're done you just erase it just like a whiteboard but here's where it gets even cooler this tv can actually connect directly into the computer which we can bring in as a source during his recordings and live streams so he can be drawing on this right on the broadcast that's that's pretty cool it is also a television so we can mirror the screen from the switcher and throw a backdrop up here of his logo or um, an animated backdrop or anything like that that he wants to behind him while he's teaching. I want one. But now let's head back to this grid system. So the truss system has no legs. Look at this. There's nothing on the floor. Look at that. I mean, except for the desks and stuff. <laughs> but there's no trussing on the floor. We uh, use Schedule 40. Uh, two inch aluminum pipe uh, and made a grid that hangs from the ceiling. We've bolted to the wall. So this is just to keep it stable. It is coming through the ceiling. We made these little rings right here um, and it's pretty simple. It's just like a floor flange for, like, uh, for plumbing. Both sets are lit by Kame TV. I think that's the way you pronounce it. C-A-M-E TV uh, light panels. They're like one by three across. Uh, so they provide this nice, even light all the way across. And you can kind of see it just circles the entire area. So you get that nice, almost newsroom-like lighting uh, in, the, in the space without a lot of harsh shadows. Depending on the look that he's going for, we also mounted these Nanlite Pavo tubes uh, to the lighting grid just off the wall so that he could throw, um, just wash it with light or if he wanted to, a pop of color. And behind the talent, we mounted smaller Neewer lights. They are uh, nine by 18, I think, is the, the size of them. They're very inexpensive, and we just use those as hair lights or kickers. Uh, and there's three of those mounted so that no matter where you're standing, you're always getting a little bit of hair light right behind the head, separating you from the background. We configured the lights this way instead of doing softbox lights because Jeffrey is going to be uh, wanting to shoot from multiple different spots. So he's going to be shooting like against this wall, but he wants to be able to walk over to this side and use this table right here uh, and do demonstrations. And he has his overhead shot right there and he has his whiteboard. It gives him quite a bit of flexibility in how he wants to film his videos or go live. And all the lights um, have these handy dandy safety cables in case something happens and one falls. We're, you know, covered. It's not going to smash and break all over uh, <laughs> the floor and potentially not hurt somebody. And then in the corner of the studio behind me, where you can see it from both set locations, uh, is a very large monitor that we're using as a confidence monitor where we're feeding a quad view so you can see all three cameras plus the broadcast out at any given time. And that comes in super handy because he can switch from camera to camera using the uh, Elgato foot pedal. So any of the three cameras can be chosen uh, remotely and he can record his own videos without, the, without a producer being here. Trying to keep the area as flexible as possible, we put the teleprompter itself on a rolling tripod 
with uh, marks on the floor, obviously, and then secured all the cables in uh, cable wrap. So the cables go up uh, into the lighting grid. They're, they don't go down on the floor. So nothing drags on the floor, but he can now use this teleprompter both in uh, straight ahead in set A or as a B cam over on set B. There's so much gear here. There's so much awesomeness. And you might be thinking, wow, well, I could take that and I could use that and I want that smart board. But not every studio should be the same. That's why these are custom builds, which we offer as a service. You can find that link in the description below. If you're looking to do it yourself, you can also just head straight on over to our gear finder. In 60 seconds, you can get a personalized shopping list and a gear kit for the type of content that you create. Super simple, super easy to get started with professional video, and then you can customize from there. So that's pretty much everything for the main studio. Let's head on over to the production booth where all the fun tech stuff goes on. And I'm gonna let Greg explain what we did. Everything routes under the production desk to the HDMI splitters into the quad view and then up into the uh, source computer and they're all labeled. We're running the audio in through Sennheiser lavalier mics so that he can move around the studio. And that in turn goes into a focus right, which is the um, the, in, the audio interface. The HDMI signal goes through the splitters. The splitters power not only the quad view monitor, but also sending a signal for each camera to the ATEM Mini Pro ISO so that he can get an individual feed and record each camera separately for his video editor. All of the switching in Ecamm is done through the Stream Deck and all the lights are powered into Alexa device. She can turn on and off the entire studio by voice. The teleprompter is powered by an Apple TV so that we can airplay a teleprompter software directly from an iPad or a Zoom call from a laptop. So if he has to go live or record without a producer present at the producer desk, Stream Deck app on the iPad allows him to control all of the uh, lower thirds and graphics, everything that you can do from the Stream Deck uh, right while he's on camera. And cable management is happening right now. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a fun one. It's not too not too bad. Well, there's a time lapse going of this, so you can see me doing it. So hopefully that's happening. Hi, 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 uh, future Chris. So there you have it. Another studio build complete. Uh, this one, like I said, was a challenge, but in a great way. We now have a three camera, a very flexible studio. If you have any questions at all about uh, this studio build or others, just drop a comment below or. Uh, follow the link in the description. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.